Okay. Uh, so Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So I welcome all of you on board. So this is the first online session that we are starting, and uh, my today's topic is why English is important, and if English is important, then how to learn it. So that is the topic. So let's start without delaying. So can you see my online screen? Uh, it's my online classes. Uh, let me introduce you to the today's topic. So participants are constantly disturbing me. So this is today's topic: why and how to learn English language. Okay, I uh, I know that online classes can never be a perfect replacement for original classes, but somehow we have to manage. So uh, I hope the screen is quite clear. You can see the screen as well. So gentlemen, why English is important? Uh, we have been listing the importance of English uh, since our birth, like when we come to know that. Uh, uh, that that we yeah blal please don't speak up nobody should speak up mute your mics so first of all english is global language why it is global language because uh, uh, it is lingua franca most of the people speak that uh, there is a linguist uh, that we call uh, that we name david crystal he is one of the greatest linguists of all time so he says that uh, english is the people is a language of people of power so language is important when people who speak it are important are powerful so nowadays if you see that uh, those people who are speaking english language are very powerful so let me admit other participants as well so this is uh, english is a language of people of power that is why it is very important and another fact is that it's the language of science and technology <clears throat> we people are very emotional we always say that we should replace english language with our sindhi language with our urdu language with other languages but it's not that much easy we cannot replace in, uh, english with sindhi or some other languages some local languages we cannot replace that we can replace that but it takes lot of time and lot of work uh, that we have to do to replace it from english to urdu because the contents are there in english science and technology is there in english and all the books are there in english so it's very important to understand that english cannot be replaced so easily so it takes centuries to replace it uh it is a lingua franca first of all understand the term lingua franca lingua franca kya hota hai pehle ye samajh le lingua franca wo hota hai jo wo language jo har banda samajh sake like urdu pakistan mein samjhi jati hai to ye lingua franca hai like uh, like in pakistan we have uh, we have uh, lingua franca that is urdu in in the world if globally we say, if we see the lingua franca is english language the while english is ling lingua franca you go to any country uh, you know you go abroad and you will find out that you and the other person can communicate only in english because if you are going to uh, france obviously uh, french is very dominant there but again you will find out a medium that medium will be english so this uh, makes us understand that english is actually lingua franca and the language which is lingua franca of any country or the whole world that has importance so english is lingua franca that is why it is important and why learning english is very necessary a uh, learning english is very necessary to face with the modern world and obviously it's a, it's a sign of prestige too like in if you go to karachi you see defense people dwelling in defense you see them Uh, they find it a really prestigious language they find it prestigious to speak english language that's why they communicate with their words in english language so obviously i'll need your opinion for this but not now obviously i i'll not allow anybody to speak now uh, once my 20 minutes are over then i'll ask you uh, to participate okay and now let's uh, let's uh, recall all the points first point was it's a global language now i'm telling you why english is important it's global language it's language of the people of power okay it's language of science and technology it's lingua franca i made you understand the term lingua franca 
and it is necessary to face with the modern world and then it's sign of prestige too so let's go to another slide i think it's the third one let me find out again okay now uh, the point is how to learn english so uh, basically most of you are university graduates and few are from college section uh, section also so you know that there are basically four skills of language and as in my classes i always discuss there are four basic skills of language the first one is listening second was speaking third one is reading and writing please mute, please mute your mic everybody i request all of you to mute your mic you are disturbing me kabir mute your mic okay everybody mute your mic okay now let's resume there are uh, four important skills of language the first one is listening some of the participants are not muting their mic please mute your mic first now it's the disturbance from your side so not from my side i am constantly requesting you to mute your mic and few are not following me okay let's resume there are four important skills of language uh, first one is listening second one is speaking third one is reading and fourth one is writing okay now uh, i have question for you that i'll get answers in the form of uh, you know uh, assignments are in simple answers in the uh, you know 10 lines answer in in my group or somewhere so is it possible to learn all skills all together obviously not you cannot learn all skills all together you cannot learn that it's not child's play yes uh, it's it's a long process it's process you can learn that now it is important to understand a few people are you know uh, they just mingle things together what you have to do you have to understand that listening is directly proportional to speaking so if you want to be a fluent speaker then first you have to be a good listener listen like you are listening me right now i am speaking english language and you are listening me that is important to understand that is, uh, listening is directly proportional to speaking if you listen more you can be a fluent speaker so if you read more you can never be a fluent speaker you read thousands of books you can never be a fluent speaker for fluent speaking what you need is actually a good listening like you can go for uh, bbc you can listen ted talks and different things then you can be a fluent speaker so listening is directly proportional to speaking then understand that reading is directly proportional to writing if you read good stuff if you read authentic stuff obviously you can be a very good writer you can be an effective writer so if if somebody is willing to uh, go if somebody is aspirant of css or if somebody is willing to go for commission exams obviously they have to be very effective writer then what they have to do they have to read authentic books when you read authentic books obviously then certain structures are inculcated in your mind and then you keep these structures with you and then you start effective writing okay so let's move towards end the slide okay now i am giving you few points about how to be a good speaker because most of you are with me because they want to be a fluent speaker uh, spoken language is uh, pretty much important for you i know so i am telling you techniques just listen to it carefully and then uh, it will I, i think it will really benefit you so what you have to do first i tell you first of all as i told you earlier that to be a good speaker first you have to be a good listener 
so list of native speakers of language i have i, I have added the speaker there is mistake in slide uh, i'll rectify it later but now at the moment understand that listen native speakers that is pretty much important because when you listen native speakers obviously that that will really help you to develop your uh, you know this this actual skill of speaking like you can listen to bbc that's important listen to any english uh, news that's pretty important watch english movies that's also important but don't forget uh, uh, to watch that movie with subtitle subtitle must be there okay and uh, after watching that you can listen to ted talks you might search it on internet ted talks are very much important you can listen to ted talks too for developing your skill now the second phase uh, once you are listening bbc other things uh, you you are elementary learner and you have some basic understanding of english but you are not that much fluent speaker what should be the second phase second uh, you know uh, is step or we can say stage people uh, have grammar knowledge of grammar and other things but they are unable to speak properly because of the reason that they have not developed their lex lexons lexical development is very important now what is lexical development it is actually the words th that you memorize the vocabulary that you memorize so uh, i always give an example if you have a, uh, if you have you know a river with you or parado with you and you don't have petrol you cannot move it you cannot drive it without petrol so to me uh, what i make it easy for you understand that uh, vocabulary is like petrol for english if you don't have lexical if you don't develop your lexic lexicon and if you have not developed your vocabulary uh, you will stuck somewhere you start speaking you speak two three five sentences then you stuck so to develop that first listen and then develop your vocabulary so uh, now if we say somebody please develop your vocabulary what they do they go to go to find out any merriam webster or some other dictionary oxford they open up and they start memorizing that is the i think the pathetic way of learning vocabulary that's useless actually what you have to do for suppose uh, you have to find out gaps for suppose you say ke ye sir mere baat ye baat mere dimag pe baith gayi hai theek hai to aap kahenge ke sir sir ye mujhse badtameezi kar raha hai so if you don't know the word for badtameezi then this is your gap okay find out this gap and then find out word for badtameezi or consult any language expert for that word and then memorize that word and keep it in your language make it part of your language this is how you can develop your vocabulary or find out some authentic book uh, there is good book for uh, uh, memorizing it's for your lexical development that is smart brain uh, uh, you can find out uh, uh, get words set words and i will also share a list of words with you which are pretty much important later on in my later lectures when we uh, go for lexical development i will uh, i'll obviously share a list of 1000 uh, pretty much important words that are used in daily life now <clears throat> now we are done with listening we are done with lexical development what to do now the next phase is construct simple sentences okay uh, don't don't try to make your language complicated full of idioms and you know very arresting and attractive don't try it don't do that don't be over efficient just make it simple just start speaking simple sentences like you can say somebody don't tease me like i am saying it to you please mute your mic and Uh, just stop your camera or video whatever so these are simple sentences please fetch a glass of water for me Let's start from simple okay why didn't you call me please attend my call it's an emergency so such kind of simple sentences so learn to construct simple sentences now you have learned all the simple sentences i'll also share list of common commonly used sentences later on so uh, then you pr start practicing that when you start practicing that with your fellows uh, it it will make your it will make your uh, make yourself it will make yourself very easy uh, like uh, your uh, we have to make our tongue habitual actually if you don't practice that your tongue will stuck somewhere you you will start stammering so practice such kind of sentences with your fellows and as i told you earlier then when you practice your language obviously there are certain gaps you stuck somewhere yeah like you for suppose you say ke ye uh, yaar ye pani ki tanki bhar do you say ke uh, is bande ne mera dimag kharab kiya hua hai 
सो इफ यू से सच काइंड ऑफ सेंटेंसेस ऑब्वियसली यू विल स्टक दैट या मुझे ये बोलना नहीं आ रहा कि इसको किस तरह बोलें सो दिस इज योर गैप्स दिस इज योर गैप फाइंड आउट दैट गैप आफ्टर फाइंडिंग आउट योर गैप व्हाट एंड देन देयर आर लैप्सेस आल्सो यू डू सम सर्टेन लैप्सेस टू देन वंस यू हैव फाउंड आउट योर गैप्स देन फिल दोस गैप्स ओके देन कंसल्ट लैंग्वेज टीचर ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टीचर्स इन योर यूनिवर्सिटीज टू सो फाइंड आउट कंसल्ट देम आस्क देम सर हाउ टू डू दैट and then the final mistake get your mistake mistakes rectified by a language expert okay to apni galtiyan durust karwa le jahan aap galat bolte hain but remember that uh, you should never compare accuracy with fluency accuracy never comes first the first you should work on your fluency then accuracy don't try to be accurate because as i'll always tell you in my class that mistakes are learning mistakes so let's repeat it quickly so what you have to do to be a uh, to be a fluent speaker what you have to do listen native speakers and work on your lexical development construct simple sentences practice the learned sentences with your fellows find out your gaps get get those gaps filled by somebody may, mostly maybe a language expert or one of your friend who is fluent speaker and then get your mistakes rectified this is only about speaking now coming towards writing how to develop writing because it's an introductory lecture so we'll just be talking about the surface of things for writing it's uh, i i did not mention grammar in speaking because grammar is not that much important in speaking just you sh should have basic knowledge then you can be a, a basic knowledge of grammar then you can be a fluent speaker uh, you need not to go to complexities to be a fluent speaker but for writing especially for effective writing you should have good knowledge of grammar and that we learn here too and you should uh, read some authentic books also learn grammar uh, i suggest you the book it's uh, raymond murphy's book intermediate english raymond murphy's and uh, renin martin is also important oxford practice grammar is important you can go to uh, go through these books and and then then there is those who are elementary learners or beginners uh, mostly you have seen Uh, Renin Martin in red color. That is intermediate. You can go for primary Renin Martin also. There is primary Renin Martin book. You can go for that also. Read authentic books. It is necessary to read books because reading is like a food to mind. So read authentic books. Uh, whether you understand it properly or you do not understand it properly, but you should read that uh, because reading gives you uh, so much, uh, so many things that you cannot imagine even. so nowadays i am going through a book think and rich grow you should go for that also it's good book uh, you can go for other english books if you are elementary learners then you could should go for english stories of 5 to 10 pages go through them read authentic books never forget to read english newspaper make it your habit you all have internet connection those who are listening me right now you have a stable internet connection that's why you are listening me so you can read web version also on internet you can read newspaper but don't forget that then practice write as much as you want and get it checked by language experts okay and keep on writing make a habit that you have to you know you have to uh, manage or you have to write your daily diary you have to maintain your daily diary actually i am i am looking at participants as well that's why i'm getting distracted okay so for writing let's repeat for writing what do you have to do learn grammar that's important read authentic books read english newspaper and then practice your practice you can also send me i'll check i'll check stuff for you and if you are serious candidate you can send me you know one paragraph or something like that i'll find out a uh, mistake and then i'll tell you and then practice your language okay practice your writing language for improving writing uh, for to be a if efficient uh, writer effective writer what you have to do uh, you have to write as much as uh, you can and get it checked by experts then gentlemen <clears throat> uh, please, uh, so this is the last last portion in which i i requested you to watch all videos i have uploaded a few video i have not uploaded but i'll soon upload a video 
how to read the newspaper okay i have uh, please watch my video on youtube after the end of oh, that video that video is actually about how to read newspaper because it's actually uh, what i believe let me manage it uh reading uh, english newspaper is also a skill you have to learn that it's not that you take newspaper you start reading then after some time you get bored and then you leave it okay reading newspaper is a skill you have to learn it so after the end of this video i'll upload a video on youtube channel how to read english newspaper here we cannot do that it's a short session of 30 minutes because we do not we do not pay for it it's not premium so the session will automatically automatically stop after 30 or 40 minutes so ahmed raise hand okay ahmed just wait for a while i am just giving you a chance i am done with it now uh, boys i'll give you chance if you have any query you can please uh, raise your hand then i'll listen to you okay let let hold on everybody is ready hold on who is ahmed yes ahmed i am the mic is yours boy speak up okay sir uh, i i understood the point that is the thing and another thing is that we know uh, they actually we have the little words in our mind but we can't write it down properly so any tip for that i give you okay so gentlemen you uh, your question was you missed the point lingua franca लिंगो फ्रिंग का बेटा वो होता है जो आ, हर सारे लोग समझते हैं लाइक आपके हमारे लाइक में लिंगो फ्रिंग क्या है सिंधी है हमारे पाकिस्तान में लिंगो फ्रिंग का कौन सी जुबान है उर्दू है पंजाबी बंदा भी जाके उर्दू ही बोलता है नए बंदे के साथ सारे तो लिंगो फ्रिंग का क्या होता है जिसको सारे समझते हैं तो पाकिस्तान में लिंगो फ्रिंग का उर्दू है ग्लोबली आप देखें तो मीटिंग विल एंड इन टेन मिनट्स ओके वी हैव टेन टेन मिनट्स आर लेफ्ट तो ग्लोबली आप देखें तो इंग्लिश लिंगो फ्रिंग का है जिस एनी प्लीज raise your hand ahmed lower your hand somebody else who has question please raise your hand okay if anybody has question or he wants to share something please raise your hand there is a option downwards you see there is a option you go to more and find out the option of raising the hand Yes, Kabir, mic is yours, boy. I don't know why I'm unable to unmute anybody. Okay, who's who's that? Speak up. Anybody who wants to participate. I think, I think mic is yours, Palak. Okay, Bilal is on. Bilal, yes, Bilal. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Uh, sir, I want to ask you a question. That when we write, we write. Bilal, I'll, I'll, I'll be very happy if you speak English language. Okay, sir. So I have a question that uh, if we are writing any essay or anything else, so if we are good in grammar or if we have a word. वोकेबलरी भी बहुत अच्छी है सो सर इन माय मैं मैं ये समझता हूं कि आइडियाज की कमी होती है तो हाउ कैन वी इंप्रूव द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट वी आर राइटिंग राइटिंग इन एसेज और एनीथिंग एल्स ओके बिलाल लिसन ऑन एनी जनरल टॉपिक ओके बिलाल सी इफ यू हैव गॉट गुड इफेक्टिव लैंग्वेज लाइक इफ यू हैव गॉट गुड ग्रामर यू हैव गॉट वोकेबलरी यू हैव गॉट गुड स्ट्रक्चर्स देन यू आर यू लैक जस्ट आइडियाज for ideas i suggested you to read authentic books when you read books obviously you have you will have some certain ideas even then if you don't have ideas then go for your general observation you can go for general observation and if you remember i said you to listen bbc in a speaking session if you listen bbc then obviously you get you you are abreast of the current affairs and current knowledge you can write on that too anybody else
अवेस वेलकम ऑन बोर्ड वैन थैंक यू सर सर माई क्वेश्चन वॉज टू इट वॉज रिगार्डिंग ऐसे राइटिंग so as you have been talking in the class about commutation like the word words in words are used for which a certain word and i have been struggling with commutation a lot so is there any uh, any way to like solve that commutation problem bilal your voice is more like a music please uh, arrange a stable connection next time and please repeat your question we could not get you uh, sir my question was like you have been talking in the class about commutation connotation not commutation that's connotation connotative words oh connotation yeah so like what's the easiest way to learn the connotation because i have been struggling with this a lot i guess okay uh, for that bilal you have to go for contextual vocabulary development there are certain books in which you learn words in a sequence okay but there are books in which you learn words in context i'll suggest you book or i'll uh, if we are not in college otherwise i would have given you and i have many books in which you learn uh, you learn uh, words in context if you learn words in context then it will be pretty easy for you to understand how connotative words are used and uh, plus uh, moreover if you want to if you don't have book right now what you can do now go through newspapers obviously the words are in context and then you know in which context these words can be used like wage a war wage war now this wage word is used with war obviously you read that this country is waging war against india so find out uh, you will find out that wage war is used like chant slogan as i told you in the class so with the word slogan you use word chant chant slogans yes sir yes anybody else so boys uh, i think we, we are running short of time i am ending this session and inshallah i'll see you tomorrow 12 o'clock there are many hands that are raised but we'll take their question tomorrow or we'll we'll take their question in group see you all i i i, I think this action and this session my uh, must be proved very you know uh, effective for you you must have learned certain new things and if you not learned certain new things then please forgive me see you tomorrow in next class thank you so much